What's going on guys? Today we will talk about how to get high quality real estate leads with WhatsApp. So if you have a list of phone numbers or leads that you want uh, with this method, you can just simply magically convert them to like a table of nurture curated leads with all of them having like name, selling yes, no, time frame of sale, description, price, etc. So what I will show you what we are doing here. So this is the kind of chatbot we are still developing it. There are two versions of this chatbot. We will first show you this version. So in this version, we, we contact the leads with like some random, not random, we contact the leads with like some introductory message. Then we have capture, uh, capture input, raw input here. Another uh, message saying, are you interested in selling for cash offer? And then we catch intent of the lead. So if intent, is how much do you offer? I will sell, but not now. How did you get my number? Who are you? Yes, I'm, I will sell. No, I will not sell. Each of the intents has like different like path, but a lot of them lead to the same thing here, which I will show. So we have a few questions here. When are you looking to sell? Zero to 30 days, 30 to 60 days, 60 to 90, etc. Then we have a question. Can you tell me about the property uh, condition, electrical, plumbing, uh, roof, etc.? What is the price of the property? And then great, I will reach out to you later and conversation. Okay, but there are some like mid steps or skips or stuff. So if they say, how much do you offer? Great, I'm looking to figure that out. Okay, if they say, I will sell, but not now. Then I say, or then we say, so we go down here, this is it. Uh, would you be interested in, so do you want to share? No, 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 This is, no, this is a later. This is a later. It says, great, we can talk later. For now, if you're interested, you can answer a few questions about your property and then ask the same questions. And then how did you get my number? I am this, we are looking for to buy stuff. If you want to answer, answer some questions. You want to answer yes, it's going to ask questions. No, it's going to end conversation. Uh, who are you? Okay, so who are you? Let me see. We are real estate. We are real estate kind of... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we are real estate company looking into purchasing property for cash. You want to talk to me? Yes. Ask questions? No. End conversation. Intent? Yes, I want to buy. Go directly to questions. No, I don't want to buy. Go to end. And then always, if all of these fail, which they will not always works. Okay, so this we kind of have like these kind of different cases, but this is uh, the previous version of our product. We actually made a better version right here. So in this version, so this chatbot that we need to just connect a start node to this one, uh, this is a lot more general. So let me show you the variables. The variables call in next month and set uh, selling intent we use for the previous chatbot up there. But this transcript user response, AR response we use for this chatbot here. It starts with this code block that says reset uh, transcript workflow. Transcript is equal to empty string. Workflow.ai response. This is the first uh, like AI stuff, AI send AI message. Workflow.transcript. We will append you and then workflow AI response. You we will append to the transcript. Transcript is a variable that keeps the entire conversation. So plus equals will append this to the to the end of the transcript. Okay, let me see the next thing. If only I was able to exit. Okay, so then we are going to always transition here. These two fields are, are just placeholders. They are, I, I just put them here to save these like text, but I will delete them. Okay, then we have this selling workflow user response. This is raw input capture data. And then AI response, the one that we set here, this is the first AI message, we already set it manually. And then you're gonna uh, like say this AI response. It's gonna say, "Hi, we are a company. We are looking to sell." And then we're gonna capture user response. And then after that, we have execute code block. So we're gonna set a workflow dot transcript plus equals user workflow dot user response. So this will append this this and a string, which is this is new line backslash n is new is new line user. And then this, and then this will also be a string. Uh, user response will also be a string. We will append it as well. 
AI response. So this will take the entire transcript and generate like the next AI response. You are AI chatbot working for a real estate agent. You will initiate conversation. You will ask these questions, but put the leads needs before yours. Do not ask uh, for any selling info if it's not appropriate. You have uh, you have a you have a humane conversation with have just okay <laughs> just have a humane conversation with the lead. Store the value into the AI response variable. What is this? Uh, this is like system, system message, and then this is um, the input. This is the this is the transcript up until this point, and then just pass variable transcript. Store the result in variable AI response. Execute code. We are going to add AI response to the transcript. That's it. And then always transition. So this code block here is carbon copy as of this node, of this code block. The only reason I had to copy them is if I try to connect this here, it doesn't work for now. It's a bug with BotPress. They're going to fix it, hopefully. But I need to do it this way to have two of them because otherwise it bugs. OK, well, this is it. This is what we did. We are still in developing process. Our goal is to take a list of list of a kind of what is list of leads and then convert it magically into a Excel or Google spreadsheet. If you are tired of clients telling you, yes, I want to buy, but if we run off and get married and then clients selling you uh, f pictures of their feet in order for you for you to buy their house, or, to, or in order for them to sell the house, then buy our stuff. We have a perfect solution for you. Okay, this is our perfect solution. Yo, 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 you can also uh, go to our Discord. I have these bots. You can download this on our Discord that I will leave in the description below. So to integrate this with WhatsApp, this is the tutorial. This is like kind of the setup page, the tutorial they uh, the bot press wrote. I will leave this page below. You go through this and you set up WhatsApp. Now, if you are selling to real estate agents from United States, I would recommend that you do not use WhatsApp because leads or people that sellers in United States do not use WhatsApp. Usually you should use Twilio and connect it with uh, like a message system. We're, con we're currently making that, making that. We are connecting Twilio to our BotPress bot. But outside of United States, some countries are using WhatsApp extensively, like whole countries. So depending on where you live, I don't know, maybe Kazakhstan, I think, or something like that. Yeah, um, so that was it for this video. I will leave all of these links in the description below. Join our Discord. You can download that stuff in the Discord in resources. Thank you for watching.